Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It's one of my favorites. It's my top 10 autumn essentials, staples, basics. I just love curating this wardrobe and it has taken me a little bit longer than I expected. I do take the time to really try and pick the best pieces that I think are on the market. I didn't want to rush it and just chuck anything in and I, a few of them I've only just found recently so I hope you guys don't mind that it's a little bit later into the autumn season. But this is my kind of wardrobe, if somebody was to say to me you need to pick 10 pieces, put it in a suitcase and go for the autumn season, these are the pieces that I pick which I'm gravitating to day after day and getting loads of wear out of. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my first item which I have on. So number one would be a midi dress, ideally a long sleeve one but I have given an option of a short sleeve one too. I adore this one, it's from a brand that I wouldn't usually shop from but I fell so in love with it. It's from Great Plains, it's amazing quality and I just love the colours. It's this gorgeous burgundy and it's actually got a pink and white animal print on it. Yes, animal print and I'm loving it, but it's really dainty and gorgeous and pretty and so feminine. To be honest, you wouldn't be able to tell, I don't think, that it is animal print, but it is just a little bit of a nod to that trend. It's got gorgeous long sleeves which are just tied at the end here, coming with a little bit of elastic, a lovely frill around the top going into a v-neck and you can tie it there if you like but I just always keep it open and have a bit more of that boho vibe. I put a belt on it but you really don't need to, it's got this gorgeous little elastic pull in here too. I tied it with a belt because I'm wearing a lot of gold today and I liked how it matched. And then it's a midi length which I just adore. This piece I definitely think that you could wear during the day with some high heel boots or some ankle boots and then you can also wear it in the evening. I think this would look so gorgeous. I'm imagining it with some little velvet burgundy heeled shoes and bag and I just think it looks stunning in the evening too. So if you're looking for a piece that you can wear during the day and during the evening I think that this is lovely. And then my next one is one that you guys may have seen already in another video which is this mint velvet mini dress. I've been wearing this on repeat, I've got so much wear out of it, I've definitely got my price per wear and I just feel so good. There's something about putting on a dress in the autumn which feels really nice because I don't know about you guys but I feel like I end up gravitating to jeans and jumpers, jeans and jumpers, jeans and jumpers and I hate that, I want to get much more out of it and I love my dresses and skirts especially in the summer so I love taking them into the autumn season. This one's obviously short sleeves so as it gets colder you will want to find something which you can pair underneath it which is perhaps a long sleeve blouse or something to just pop underneath but it's so pretty, it flows really beautifully and I just feel like I feel really put together when I walk out the door in this one. Okay, next up my second essential for your autumn wardrobe has to be a blazer. I actually only got into blazers last year and I can't believe that I didn't because I've been gravitating to them in my wardrobe time after time. If you're just popping out at the weekend, you're wearing jeans, t-shirt or a jumper and you want to make that look just a little bit cooler, a little bit more styled, then just chuck over a blazer and honestly it brings it all together and that is why I love it so much. Usually when I'm getting dressed, my boyfriend it like looks at me in jeans and t-shirt and he's like, okay, you're going casual and I put a jacket on and he's like, oh, you've, you're now smart because you've got that blazer on and honestly it does just make that difference and I love it for that. You guys may have noticed that I mentioned in another video that I wanted to freeze one and this is it here. I did invest in it. It was quite expensive but to be honest this one is so classic that I feel like hopefully I'll be wearing it into my 30s and 40s as well. It's just this gorgeous kind of herringbone monochrome black and white and it's the most gorgeous fit. It does have shoulder pads here which some of you guys might not like but I really like that structured look. I went up to a size 10 because I wanted to be able to fit a jumper underneath it as well. I just, I love this piece. I think that it's going to be a classic and I will hopefully definitely get the wear out of it. It just makes me feel good when I put on and any item that I have with that is well worth it. It's also 73% wool so it's going to be pretty warm going into the colder months and I'll just fling another big jacket over the top of it and kind of layer it out. I love doing that with blazers also. So yes, this would be my number two. You guys need a blazer. You guys will definitely know and without doubt probably have many of these in your wardrobe. Number three has to be a chunky knit or some good knitwear. 
I've actually pulled out three. So starting with the one that I've got on, I recently featured this in a haul and I just, I picked this one up actually for the style. For like value for money, it was absolutely amazing. I sized up so that it was really chunky, but just the effect and the feel of it just makes it look quite stylish. So I'd say get a stylish jumper in your wardrobe, one that's warm, one that's comfortable, but also one that makes you feel really good and it feels a little bit more high end than it actually is. And I think this one ticks the boxes for me with that. Then another one which I picked was this one, which you guys know and also love too. It's one from Mango. It's the most gorgeous color and it goes with everything. So next up I'd say just a plain, simple jumper that goes with anything. You can chuck it with a skirt, with some jeans, put it under any kind of colored coat and it will go really practically with everything. And then I also picked out this one. I guess this is kind of cheating because I featured three kind of knitwear items here, but this is probably one of my most worn pieces over the autumn period. And it has to be kind of a polo neck, roll neck jumper, which is cashmere. Now cashmere is definitely an investment. Actually, this one does need debobbling because I've worn it so much. This one is from Jaeger, I believe. Yeah, Jaeger. And I just think that they're the perfect piece for autumn. Keep you warm. It's really soft, really comfortable. And everybody needs, I think, one piece of cashmere in their wardrobe. And honestly, you will keep it and love it for years. And while I have this outfit on, number four is a pair of jeans. I will do a cutout of these because I know you can't see them right now. But I had to feature these. I picked them up in my ASOS haul. And they are by far the most comfortable jeans I have ever tried on. They are absolutely amazing. They are so stretchy. They make me feel good. They actually make me feel confident, which I don't often feel in trousers. And I've worn them, I must admit, nearly every day since I bought them. So I already feel like they've been one of the best pieces and I am recommending them to absolutely everybody because comfort is so important. It's a real biggie for me when I'm choosing pieces especially trousers because if they're not comfy I won't go for them. So these are probably one of my favourite jeans ever and they were £20. I think they were £19.99 which is an absolute bargain. Absolute bargain. So these are my favourite, favourite kind of find for the autumn season when it comes to trousers. You guys probably know that I couldn't feature this video without putting this blouse in it because it is the love of my life. It definitely has been. So number five is a really lovely blouse. I still think that blouses are lovely at this time of the year because even though you're having chunky knits, just having a little collar showing or a little bit of a sleeve is really lovely and it just makes it a much more nicer layering item just instead of chucking anything under there, just having a little bit of something peeking out. It's really nice. So that's why I chose this silk one. Makes an outfit look much more luxurious than it actually is. Yeah, need I say more about this one? You guys know that I love it and I just think that it is the most perfect blouse all year round. I'm gonna be raving about it for the next 10 years at least. And my other pick is actually one that I have featured before but it is one that I have got so much wear out of and I just thought that this one was perfect for this time of the year because it's got a little bit of glitz in it and you do start, I don't know, there's something about October, November, December that you start wanting to have that little bit of more glitz when it gets darker in the evenings. So I feature this one because it's, again, that perfect piece for day to night. Wear it to work and then wear it out to drinks and it just looks so gorgeous on. Okay, next up, and whilst I have this skirt on, I'm going to talk about skirts. I actually cheated a little bit for number six because number six... I put two skirts in which kind of come under different categories. Number one would be a check skirt. So the one that I have on is my absolute favorite that I found this season. If I could let you guys experience how comfortable the skirt is, I really would. It is so comfortable and it just feels really nice on. As I've said before, I love these skirts just kind of dip at the front because they're just really flattering. I feel they make you look that little bit slimmer. It's a jersey material, so it's really stretchy. I think that this one would be perfect for work if any of you guys feel really uncomfortable at work and sometimes feel a little bit bloated. This one will be ideal. Pair it with a chunky jumper that you kind of pull out to hide any kind of bloating and it is so comfortable. You feel like you're in your pajamas, but equally it would look amazing. Kind of during the week, or the weekend, just more casually, pair it with some over the knee boots. And I absolutely love it. I feel like this is gonna be definitely one of my favorites in my wardrobe. And then my other skirt, which actually I probably would knock out the check one for this one if I had to. This would be my number one skirt to get for this season and that's a midi satin one. They are just gorgeous. I can't quite explain to you how they make you feel, but they're perfect for the daytime. I didn't know how I would make it work for the day, but pair it with a chunky knit and some boots. 
and honestly it just looks so nice it feels really beautiful on the material is really lovely on this one especially this one's from mint velvet and the color is gorgeous too and also the nice thing is is that you can get so much wear out of it because also pair it with a little silk cami and some heels and you can wear it in the evening so it's so versatile i went for a dark color because i always find with being in london and being on the tubes sitting on the tubes i don't particularly like wearing light things all of the time and I just felt like this would be really nice for the evenings as well. It is a little bit more on the pricey side but to me this is a real investment piece and also you've got to be thinking of it as well as an evening piece and something you can really utilize and wear with so many things in your wardrobe. So I think for that it is worth the money. Now number seven is a little bit different for me and actually I'm wearing right now the wrong outfit to be trying on and showing you guys with but I'll show you and cut out the kind of thing that I'd wear it with. So number seven is a practical coat. Now I've had a few practical coats in my wardrobe. I've had puffer coats. I don't class a wool coat as a practical coat. For me, a practical coat is something with a hood, something exceedingly warm, something you pop out to the shops in. I do pop to the shops in a wool coat, but something a lot more practical, dog walking, that kind of thing. And I wear this type of coat a lot, although you might not believe it. I wear it a lot. And this year I decided to invest in a parka for a number of reasons. Firstly, because I feel like the style is quite London. For me, I didn't want a country coat. I have a few barbers in my wardrobe, which I love. I just think that they're the best quality wax coats out there. But I wanted something a little bit more London, a little bit more stylish, something that I could really pair with some nice boots and an outfit and it wouldn't look out of place. And secondly, because they have lots of functionalities. Now this one in particular, not all of them will have this, but I did invest quite heavily in this one. It's actually new, I haven't taken off the tags yet, but I'm definitely keeping it. It's from a company, Parker London, and I'll show you in the cutouts, but it's so clever. You have pretty much lining for it all. So in the spring or early autumn when it's warmer, you can wear it just as this jacket. If you see here, the light jacket without any of the fur in it. And then as it gets a little bit colder, you can put this like quilted one inside. Now you can't wear these separately. This one is just one with this one. And the fur goes all the way up into the hood. It's faux, obviously all of the fur is faux. And the really nice thing about it is that this also goes, if you can see there, right the way down the sleeve to your arm. So it is so warm. And then lastly, it also has this fur around the hood, which I think personally is probably one of the nicest furs that I have seen faux fur. I don't particularly like faux fur. I think it can look quite cheap and just a bit nasty, but I think this is just really luxurious. And to be honest, it was pricey, so you would expect it. But how gorgeous is that when it's all put together? It just is so unbelievably snuggly and you can wear it pretty much all year round, apart from when it's really warm in summer. So super, super practical. And I, I just am so in love with it. I just think that it's so clever how they designed it and made it really functional. And then number eight, something that everybody always needs in their wardrobe. It's just a really smart wool coat. I picked up this one last year and I had to feature it this year. Unfortunately, it is not in stock, but right now Topshop are doing one which is practically exactly the same and actually a fraction of the price. So um, really good if you're looking for something that's not too much of an investment. I know that one of you guys called me out for saying this wrong before and I'm really sorry, but I'm dyslexic so I'm probably gonna say loads of things wrong, but it's just who I am. Um, so it's Misomi Duty, <laughs> hopefully that's how I say it. And it's this gorgeous light kind of almost cream coat. I've worn this one so, so much. And actually, it doesn't look tatty at all for how much I've worn it. I say investing in a wool coat is one of my prime things for autumn. It's coats, shoes, and bags are the one thing that I invest in. Also jumpers, slightly. But they're probably one of my most expensive items. So go for something that you really love and something that you think you're gonna wear year after year. And I'll link a few options for this one below. Number nine is an autumnal handbag. And I am so proud of this purchase. I think it's probably one of my favorite purchases that I have made in the last few months. And it's this gorgeous bag. Love the color, love the burgundy. As you'll be able to see, it will go with absolutely everything that I've picked from this rail. It's a really good size, it fits everything can even fits an umbrella in so it's super practical apart from the kind of faux suede which isn't so practical it is 
a bit of a Chloe mimic, I believe. I don't know which Chloe bag, but it's definitely a mimic of one of those. A dupe for it. It's got this gorgeous big handle here, which you can hold it by at the top, or also you can just put it crossbody over there. It's kind of a uh, shorter crossbody, but I absolutely love it. And I love it so much. I'm saying love, 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 because <laughs> this was 35 pounds. 35 pounds, I think an absolute bargain. And again, this is one that I have picked up every single day since I bought it. When I found it, I was kind of amazed because I never find bags at a cheaper price point that I love. And this one, I do absolutely love it. And it's practical, it fits loads in, just love it. So yeah, that one has to be my bag of the season. And then lastly, my 10th item that you need this autumn would be these boots. Again, because they have been my absolute most worn already, I have definitely got my wear out of these. They are the most gorgeous colour. I just feel that they fit with absolutely everything. Every colour that I have, camel, black, navy, all of my blushes and light whites, these go really nicely. They even go really nicely with the burgundy bag. So wear for cost was amazing on these uh, because they're also really, really comfortable. I run around London in them and I've had so many compliments whilst I've been wearing them. So these would be a must. And then lastly, the item which unfortunately didn't arrive and I would have included, swapped something out in this video, and put that one in is a ankle boot and a flat one and that you need a flat shoe definitely if you are walking the dog or that kind of thing. And I've picked out a pair I absolutely adore but unfortunately I've had a nightmare with the delivery not the company's fault but I'm not going to get into that today I'm going to ping them up on the screen here they are absolutely gorgeous they are definitely a nod to the trend of the biker boot but I searched high and low for a pair that were much more feminine and kind of suited my style and these are the ones that I decided to go for I just think that they'll be so practical and they'll make you look really chic on those days where you just want to be comfy or you're running errands or that kind of thing but equally you could dress it up perhaps even wear it really cool with the dress or something like that or a knit and the skirt it would look amazing with those too so i just thought that i would let you guys know about that but i will definitely show you them and try them on when they do finally arrive hopefully soon i really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what i have picked out as my favorite kind of basic essentials for autumn the things that i think that you really need and the things that are really worth investing in do leave me a comment below of the things that you think that i should add in or have been missing or the things that you are investing in and buying from the rail i'd love to know any kind of suggestions and that kind of thing thanks so much for supporting my channel as always i do really appreciate it and i will see you guys all very soon for another video bye